Hi friends, uh, this is Rajiv Patel, uh, practicing endodontist in uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, wanted to welcome you to our first episode of Movers and Shakers. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Dr. Bobby Nadeau. He is going to talk to us about dynamic navigation in endodontics. Uh, he has a vast uh, experience with uh, using uh, dynamic navigation and uh, he's at the forefront of this technology. I wanted to introduce him with his uh, elaborate bio. Uh, Bobby grew up in Quebec, Canada. He's graduated with a DDS from Dalhousie Uni University, uh, Faculty of Dentistry in Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. After one year of private practice, Dr. Nadeau pursued graduate studies at the University of Toronto, from which he received his MSc in endodontics in 2019. He has developed particular interest in uh, dynamic navigation for endodontics, ergonomics and microscope dentistry, restoratively driven endodontics and clinical decision making. Dr. Nadeau is currently an associate in private practice limited to endodontics in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Bobby Nadeau. I really appreciate Bobby and Nadeau for you for taking this initiative and doing this uh, for our viewers. Uh, this is awesome. I welcome you to our first episode of Movers and Shakers. And you. Uh, you are uh, you are one of the first endodontists to use uh, dynamic navigation, and you have posted about it extensively online. Can you explain to our viewers what dynamic navigation is and how does it work? Absolutely, thanks, Rajiv. So, well, dynamic navigation is a uh, is a fairly new technology that allows to navigate different kind of procedure while obtaining real time visual feedback. Hence, the name dynamic. So dynamic navigation systems involve the use of stereoscopic cameras uh, that can detect and track special specific markers or tags. Um, and these are often called fiducial markers. Uh, one of these fiducial markers uh, is placed on the patient's jaw and the other is placed on the dental tool being used. Um, so the system knows where the patient is positioned at all time in three dimensional space as well as where the dental tool being used is positioned in three-dimensional space. One prerequisite for the use of dynamic navigation is a CBCT scan. One must take uh, a CBCT scan in order to use dynamic navigation. The uh, system then superimposes the position of the dental tool being used over the virtual CBCT scan of the patient. And then the clinician, by looking at the screen interface, um, obtains the visual feedback uh, of the position of the tool in relation to the patient's jaw uh, virtual scan and can then adjust the angulation or the depth in order to obtain the wanted procedural outcome. It works a lot like a GPS. The map is the patient's scan and the car is the dental tool being used. You always know where you are uh, going at all time and you can pre-program your path in advance. Perfect. That, that really helps uh, uh, any of all our viewers to understand what exactly dynamic navigation is. Uh, thank you for that. Um, so I understand you're involved in putting together protocols uh, for dynamic navigation as it applies to endodontics. Uh, and tell us how you got interested in dynamic navigation and uh, in specifically for endodontic applications. Well, for me, uh, the journey started about two years ago when I was still a, a, a resident in my endodontic residency program. I was exposed to a different way of thinking um, by at the time my instructor and now my good friend Viraj Vora. He taught me a new way of approaching endodontics, uh, putting patient-centered outcome as a priority. And from then I met many great clinicians with the same mindset and was exposed to TDO. And I quickly learned the importance of dentin conservation to achieve patient-centered outcomes. And at the same time, um, I, was, uh, I was exposed to the amazing work that Dr. Charles Maupin, uh, a very talented endodontist in Southern US, did with dynamic navigation for endodontics. And so I discovered uh, by doing some research that there was a, a company called ClareNav that manufactures a, a dynamic navigation system called Navident right in Toronto, which is where I was at the time. So I decided to approach that company and they were very welcoming and receptive and let me come into their own facilities to start experimenting with the Navident system for different endodontic applications. And so fast forward to now, uh, I, purchased, I purchased my own Navident system 
and I continue to provide here and there my opinion to, to Clarinav as they develop uh, an endodontic protocol for Davidant. Yeah, that's, that's real neat. I mean, to be at the forefront of new technology and offering it uh, with your expertise in endodontics is, is brilliant, actually. So um, what are the different applications uh, of uh, dynamic navigation in endodontics, if you would like to share that with our viewers? Absolutely. Well, um, first, uh, in endo, dynamic navigation can be used to provide guidance uh, during endodontic access cavity preparation, uh, whether it's for and easier cases like on the screen or, or more calcified cases uh, uh, where the, uh, the access cavity is a bit challenging. It can be used for endodontic surgeries, uh, epical surgeries as well, using a Lindemann burr for your osteotomy uh, and your root end resection um, at the same time. And um, it can also be used uh, using, uh, and this is a new application, using a, uh, a piezo ultrasonic saw tip, whereby you can actually do your, your, your osteotomy your, your, or your bony window osteotomy, and then your 90 degree root end resection, as we see on the screen here. Nice. Um, you can also use um, a dynamic navigation for your retrograde preparation using ultrasonic tips so that you can stay within uh, your, your, your path of the canal. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to have access to these uh, you know, for example, MB roots of upper molars. And finally, you can use dynamic navigation using a bone trephine, whereby uh, you can actually uh, do your osteotomy and your root end resection all in one motion. Uh, this can be used, for example, for palatal approach to the palatal root. Wow. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So how, how does this compare to other systems on the market as well? Well, there are uh, other systems on the market. Um, uh, another, there's about three or four in the world, but I would probably say that Navident and XGuide, which is manufactured by XNAP Technologies in the, in the US, are probably the main two system uh, being used both for implant therapy and also for, uh, uh, for endodontics, or they're starting to emerge. But I believe Navident is the only system right now that has Health Canada approval and probably soon to have FDA approval, approval for endodontic procedures. Oh, neat. And, and so that leads me to the next question. What does the future hold for dynamic navigation in endodontics? Well, I think it's, it, it will not take too long uh, before clinicians really realize the potential of dynamic navigation in endodontics. Uh, the key, I think, will be to, uh, allow the, uh, to allow a seamless integration of dynamic navigation technology within a uh, microscope-based endodontic practice. We know how the microscope is so important for endodontists. So if we can integrate dynamic navigation and the microscope together, I think the, uh, uh, I think the, the transition will be much smoother. So um, it'll all be about being able to obtain the visual feedback from dynamic, dynamic navigation system while still looking within the microscope, uh, which I think will be important. So the future looks pretty bright for endo and dynamic navigation. Well, perfect. Yeah, I re really appreciate you sharing your uh, experience with dynamic navigation and your continued efforts in uh, making it available for the rest of the world. Um, uh, for our viewers, essentially, Dr. Nado has uh, been kind enough to share his YouTube link. He also has an Instagram link, uh, which I'll be posting in the comment section uh, with this episode. So I, with that, I would like to thank Dr. Bobby Nadeau for his time and uh, his expertise on dynamic navigation. And hopefully we can connect with the other leading uh, experts in the field of dynamic navigation and we can have an online forum where we discuss uh, dynamic navigation in the future to benefit all our participants. So, so with that, I would like to thank you again and uh, thank you for watching our first episode. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank Good you, Rajiv. Day.